take a look of question number seven. So we have two squares. There are two squares, and um, the five and then the one twenty five represents the area, right? They have the areas. And the question is asking us how many yards of fencing are needed to enclose the two regions. Well, what does that mean? Fencing means you can think about the word fencing means like the things that go around the um the squares. So, for example, the first one is like even though the inside is equal to five, right? But I want to know how long is this plus this plus this plus that. Likewise, for the big one, I need to know that the the inside is already know is one twenty five, but I want to know what's this plus this. Plus this plus that. In another word, fencing right here is uh, for uh, perimeters. So fencing. We're looking for looking for perimeter. Looking, yeah. Okay, so how do we do it? How do we do it? Uh, we have square. We, sorry, <laughs> we have a square. Uh, the area inside is equal to five, and a big square. The inside is equal to one twenty-five, right? And let me put on some notes right here. So let me just recall. Let me, let's do something that's um, easier. Let's do something that's easier. So if you have a square, and let's say each side is equal to s, and s. The area, the area, will be. You just take the side, and then square that, right? Okay, so that's the case if you know the side, and you want to find the area. But in this case, you have the area, and you want to figure out what the side is. So what we can do to、uh, this equation to get um the side, is that side will be. Just think about this equation, but if you take square root on both sides, the two and the square root cancel, so we can get side. It's equal to square root of whatever the area was given. Okay. So for in this case, for this case, the area inside is equal to the area is equal to five for this square. So each side will have the side square root of five. Square root five, square root five, square root five, and square root five. Likewise for this one, one twenty-five. This side right here will be square root of one twenty-five, and then square root of one twenty-five, square root of one twenty-five, and square root of one twenty-five. And again, we are trying to find the parameter. So I want to go. All this, if I add them up, all this, and if I add up all this,、uh, what do I get? So let's just get to work. For the first one, the parameter will be、uh, four times each side, right? So I need to have four times each side square root of five. I need to add、um, the second one, the big one. I need I have four sides. Each side is square root of one twenty-five. So I need to do that, and this will tell us how much,、um, how many yards of fencing that we need、uh, for these two、uh, regions. So let's see if there's any way we can combine、um, similar radicals. The first one we have square root of five inside. We we'll have five inside of the square root. So there's not much that we can do. So it's still four square root of five. But square root of one twenty five, I can simplify that. So let me write down plus four, and have a square root. Notice one twenty-five. It's the same as saying twenty-five times five. Um, this right here, I will just bring them down plus four. But for this right here, uh, square root twenty-five times five inside, I can write it as square root twenty-five times square root five. And square root twenty-five right here. This is just a regular five. So, the first one I have four square root of five. Plus the second one I have four times five, 
right? They are regular numbers. They are not inside of the square root. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. And then I have the square root of 5. Now they are the same radical, right? They have the same radical. So you can think about this question as 4x plus 20x. And what would be the answer? 4 plus 20, which is 24x, right? In this case, we have the square root of 5. But the step is the same. We need to do 4 plus 20, which is 24, and maintain the like radical, square root of 5. So, 24 square root of 5, 20 root, 24 square root of 5. That's answer choice C.